nobody like this You ain't seen nobody like this You hear my sound all over town singing Whoa, whoa, whoa. You ain't seen nobody like this You ain't seen nobody like this You hear my sound all over town singing Hey, what's up, you guys? Let me welcome you to the uh, McGivney Center here in the city of Bridgeport, Connecticut. We are ready and almost, it's about that time to get started with the BCYO Youth Basketball. Um, as you guys already know, especially you parents that are out there, because I know there's a bunch of you outside in the parking lot right now. Let me put the camera on me so you can be able to see who I am. All right, I'm gonna take the mask down. And the reason I'm gonna take the mask down is because there's no one around me all right so i'm maintaining social distance i'm making sure that i'm supposed to do what i'm supposed to do to protect myself and to protect everyone else that's here so uh there's no one anywhere in my vicinity all the kids are far away from me i'm way out um on the bleachers and they're about to get started here at the bcyl for the bridgeport caribe youth leaders basketball season at the McGivney Center here in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Um, but why they're getting started is a few things that I want to explain to you guys. Um, some notifications that you um, need to be aware of, especially if you're a parent and um, you're located in the city of Bridgeport. First of all, coaches are needed for the 2021 summer softball and baseball season. A good coach can change a game. A good coach can change a life. So coaches are needed for the new summer 2021 basket, um, summer uh, softball and baseball season that's coming up in the next couple of months. If interested, contact Willie Cora at the uh, Bridgeport Caribe Youth Leaders um, website, which is right there listed, wcora uh, at bcyl.org. Or you can also contact Willie at 203-913-0073. Also, 2021 registrations are due. So if you, were, if you have a child or if you're, uh, you know, whether, whether it's a boy or a girl, um, registrations are due. You can uh, either scan the barcode that's right there on the screen. Um, I'm gonna be changing that picture momentarily, but you can always go onto their website and be able to scan the barcode there or go onto their social media, onto their Instagram or Facebook, and this flyer is listed on there as well. All right, so baseball and softball, indoor clinics are coming up soon and the season is going to be starting soon so make sure that you guys get out there and register as soon as you can learn play coding and gaming program it's a new program that the uh, bcyl has put together so if you want to join the bcyl's gaming program and complete with other clubs in the area compete with other clubs in, in the area learn how to design and code with game maker spaces limited applications um are due and our applicants will be reviewed just keep that in mind you will be interviewed require c average or better um, in order to apply so you better make sure that you're a good student at school not playing any games all right so let's see what else we have here first marking period on a row destination mars a virtual expedition to mars 
Um, that's coming up as well. So if you want some more information on that, uh, feel free to go onto the BCYL website. First 48 report cards will be accepted. Also keep in mind guys, Bridgeport Caribe Youth Leaders Co uh, College Scholarship deadline is March 15, 2021. So you still got some time to get your, uh, your application and applicants must have participated in BCYL Leaders program for a minimum of three years in order to apply. Students must maintain a 2.5 GPA better and be in good academic standings with your school in order to apply for this scholarship. Applicants must be in good standing, again, with the BCYL. That barcode is right there. Feel free to scan it with your phone. Or, like I said, you can go onto uh, BCYL's social media sites and you'll be able to scan the barcode on there because all these flyers that I'm speaking of are on their website. Also, visit bcyl.org for more information. Follow us on social media, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Bridgeport Caribe Youth Leaders on Facebook, BCYL Leaders on Instagram, and BCYL Leaders on Twitch. Again, you guys, I'm your host, Jason Rodriguez, and I'm gonna be here with you throughout this morning. Um, they're just getting ready to start the first game of this morning here at the McGivney Center. And the first game is going to be Ababuenas, the home team, going up against Manati. Um, yeah, so we, we're looking to have a good time. Usually John Torres is the one that's here doing all the speaking. John is the one that's always here uh, commentating the games. He knows all the players. And John does a really, really great job with his, um, you know, calling all the shots on, on the games. Every time we have these games here at the BC, I mean, at the McGivney Center. But, you know, I'm going <laughs> to... I'm gonna try my best, man. I'm not, um, I'm not really basketball savvy. Basketball's not my thing. And um, so I'm gonna try my best. Hopefully, I'll do a decent job. I'm gonna do it until Willie Cora gets here. Willie will be joining me shortly. And Willie's gonna take over this microphone and he's gonna talk to you guys about a whole bunch of things coming up here in the city of Bridgeport with the uh, Bridgeport Caribe Youth Leaders. Yeah, I think I talked a lot already this morning. So they're getting ready. Uh, the game is going to be starting soon, so we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, hopefully, we'll be on our way, guys. Don't go anywhere. Please share this live broadcast into your timeline. And, you know, there's a lot of kids here. Great talent that plays in the BCYL. And you're going to see this morning. So the first game, I believe, was supposed to start at 9 o'clock. So I'm not sure what, what's the hold up. Um, unless I'm mistaking and it's starting at 9.30. I got to verify that. I thought it was 9 o'clock. Um, the second game is supposed to start, I believe, at 10.30. So we're going to be here for two games. And this is the... So we, we have a game today, and then we have two more games the following Saturday. So this season is, is coming to an end already. I mean, we, we started this season in October, but then due to COVID restrictions, they, uh, they stopped the basketball season. So today is the first game, the return of the BCYL leaders uh, basketball season. So we're looking to have a good time. Great talent, great kids. They play hard. They're very focused, they're disciplined. The coaches are excellent as well. And you'll see what I'm talking about this morning, guys. So again, share this live broadcast to your timeline. I'm looking to have a blast here um, with, the, uh, with the youth of the BCYL basketball uh, tournament season here in Bridgeport, Connecticut. We're gonna take a quick break, I'll be right back. If you in good hands and the Moran Insurance Agency, we are here to protect your future. Come on guys, join me. Let me show you around. It's all about protecting what's important to you. The Moran Agencies are here to protect your future. We are here to build a lot of protection around you and your family. From your auto, in life and retirement, the Morang Insurance Agency has you back. To protect your family from mayhem, please visit us at moranginsuranceagencies.com or give us a call at 203-864-6232.
All right, you guys, welcome, welcome back to the Bridgeport McGivney Center, which is located right here in the east side of Bridgeport, Connecticut. Um, man, we are back for the completion. We have this Saturday, which is now, and then we have two Saturdays after this, where, uh, man, we're gonna be wrapping up this season. It's been a long season because of COVID and the restrictions that were put out by the government. The season came to a halt, I believe in December, a few weeks ago. And now we are back, it's a new year, 2021, and we're looking to close out the season with a bang. We have an amazing um, category of kids that are gonna be playing basketball here, the BCYL Youth Leaders Basketball Season. And these kids play hard. They're really disciplined. The coaches are outstanding. And you're gonna see this morning how serious these kids are about the sport. So I'm here, I got me a nice little hot cup of Starbucks coffee. My temperature has been checked, I am clear. And the reason why, yep, I'm, yeah, I'm not wearing my mask properly. I'm wearing it under my chin. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I want you to hear me effectively. But at the same time, there's no one around me. I'm all alone, way up against the wall, on the bleachers. There is no one around me. I'm sitting here all by myself. So that's why I have my mask down the way I do. But all restrictions are being taken here this morning with the kids in COVID. They have sanitizer, they have disinfectant, they have wipes. And all the kids are wearing their mask um, during the game. They're going to be wearing their mask as well. So, yeah, man, you know, welcome to each and every one of you that's watching. I can see right here Rafael Carrero saying good morning. Good morning right back to you, Rafael. I see Anna Cecilia saying good morning, Jason. Thank you, Anna, um, uh, for, for tuning in. But I see a whole bunch of you guys are starting to come on here. I'm sure that there's a lot of players that are out, uh, a lot of players, family members that are outside in the parking lot watching. I want to welcome you into the game tonight. I mean, tonight, this morning. Hold on, I need another, hold on. <sighs> okay, I need a, a sip of my hot Starbucks coffee to wake me up a little bit, all right? Because I've been here since uh, about 6.30 in the morning getting ready so I can do this broadcast. Um, but yeah, let's see who else. I see uh, Niv Nivia Moreno is saying, let's go Team Manati. That's right, that's one of the teams that's going to be playing this morning. We have Abba Buenas going up against Manati. Abba Buenas is the home team. All right, so Manati is the team wearing black and yellow, and then Manati is wearing turquoise and black. So I hope you guys are in for it, man. We're going to have a good time this morning. I'm just waiting for them to get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a quick breakdown of some of the things that are, are to come in in the next couple of weeks here in the bridge in the city of bridgeport connecticut with bcyl uh leaders first thing i want to mention is that coaches are needed for 2021 summer softball and baseball season a good coach can change a game a great coach can change a life if interested contact willie cora um, at wcora at bcyl.org or you can always call cora at 203-913-0073 again Coaches are desperately needed for the 2021 summer softball and baseball season. Also, 2021 registration for the season, they're due. All right, guys, they're due. So if you have a kid that's interested in playing, make sure that you contact the BCYL. Uh, scan the barcode with your cell phone that's on the screen right now so that you can register today. If you miss this barcode, because I'm going to move on to the next slide, you can always go onto their social media website um, on, the, on their social, social media platforms and you'll be able to see this flyer on there where you can scan the barcode. I think that is pretty cool right here. Learn coding and learn how to play. Uh, so basically, they have a coding gaming program. Um, I think this is new. I think this is the first time that BCYL is, is putting this together. Join BCYL's gaming program and compete with other clubs in the area. Learn how to design and code with Game Maker. Space is limited. limited. Applica applications are, oh, applicants will be interviewed. And in order for you to, uh, to be a part of this, uh, you require a C average or better at school so make sure that you're on point with your grades don't be at you know at school playing playing around and not taking it seriously then thinking you're going to participate in this type of program uh, bcyl takes this very very serious another thing we uh bcyl has going on is the first marking period on a roll destination mars a virtual expedition to mars uh first 
48 report cards will be accepted. Um, in order to submit it, go onto their website. More information is listed on there, guys, all right? And then, Bridgeport Caribe Youth Leaders College Scholarship. Deadline is March 15th. Applicants must have participated in the BCYL program a minimum of three years. Students must maintain a 2.5 GPA or better. And applicants must be in good standing with BCYL in order to apply for the Bridgeport Caribe Youth Leaders Scholarship, College Scholarship. Scan the barcode that's on the screen right now, or you can always go on to their website, which is www.bcyl.org for more information. Also, follow BCYL on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Facebook, Bridgeport Caribe Youth Leaders. Instagram, BCYL Leaders. And Twitter, BCYL Youth Leaders. Now, I am exhausted. I need another sip of coffee. All that talking just took a whole lot out of me, guys. But, yeah, we're here um, at the McGivney Center in Bridgeport, Connecticut. They're just getting started. The coaches are just shaking hands, and they're about to be on their way momentarily, guys. So, again, for all the information that I was just talking about, all the flyers, make sure that you visit www.bcyl.org, and all the information is on there. Or call 913-0073-203. 913-0073. With that said, we're almost about to get started here with the tip-off momentarily uh, from the McGivney Center located in Bridgeport, Connecticut. The teams that are going to be playing this morning is Agua Buenas versus Manati. Now, let me put the disclosure out there. I'm going to let you know right now. Basketball is not my thing. Um, I don't know the sport of basketball like that. I know boxing. I know boxing and I know some baseball. But basketball is not my thing, so usually John Torres is the one that's here on the microphone. He's usually the one that's talking to you guys and letting you know what's going on. He's calling all the shots. Uh, John's not here today, unfortunately, so I'm, I'm, I'm alone for right now until Willie Cora comes and join me momentarily. Then Willie's going to be calling all the shots. I like when John's here because John knows every single player, every single student, every single person. Uh, youth that is playing in this league john knows them all individually he knows them by name complete name so when john is here he does an amazing job calling the shots all right guys so here we go we're about to get started here at the bridgeport mcgivney center with the tip off so the first game we're about to start off with is abba buenas a home team going up against manati i gotta say it not a big Starbucks coffee drink, but this one this morning tastes really good. Eric Murray, I see you right there also saying, let's go. Welcome back. Thank you for tuning in, Eric. Gene Price, I see you on there. I see you, Damara Geminis. Good morning back to you. Let's have a good game. Team Manati. Let's go. Here we go, guys.
Oh, there's a turnover. Here goes Sarah. I believe that's her name. I don't even know all the name of the players, but I believe that's Sarah. She's one of the one of the players that I really like to see in this in this league. She plays really, really hard, man. They all play hard, but Sarah just something special about her. pretty cool though because every time they call a timeout there's a break or whatever the case may be throughout the game all hands are being sanitized even the balls are being sanitized uh, which is really important during these uh, critical times Right, you guys so here we go back we are back from a quick timeout again the teams that are playing this morning is Aba Buenas going up against Manati Tell you guys, these kids come to play, man. They don't. They take it very serious. And they practice hard as well during the week. Very, very hard. They're always here at the McGinley Center, putting in that work to sharpen their, their skills. Every single week they're here. You guys seen that clearly but Sarah was just all over that one. She's a really good player. Oh, turnover. Here we go. laughing in my head because Willie Cora was supposed to be over here on the mic with me but it looks like he's over there uh, instead he's over there as a referee Okay, Tina Repas, thank you for letting me know. Like I said, I don't know the name of the players. Um, usually John Torres is the one that's here on the microphone and he's the one doing all the talking um, and commentating the game. John knows every single player. But thank you, uh, Tina Rep Repas, for letting me know that it's not Sarah. It's Mary, yeah, Mary. I really like, I really like Mary, she's a really good player. 
I mean, she's always here with that game face, and she she plays hard. She's an excellent player. Everyone is an excellent player. Everyone plays really hard. Turnover. Again, I want to welcome all of the parents that are watching, whether you're watching on Facebook or if you're watching on YouTube, because we're live on both networks right now. Parents aren't allowed inside the McGivney Center because of COVID, because of all the restrictions. I know that some of you parents are outside in the parking lot, so I'm glad that I'm able to be able I'm glad I'm able to uh, bring to you the game live on our network. Wow, that was a fast pass. Again, you guys, if you have any kids that's interested in playing baseball, softball, make sure that you, <coughs> excuse me, visit the bcyl.org website so you can register them for the 2021 season. coaches are on it <laughs> I don't even need to speak I, I, I can let the coaches do all the speaking shots. Christina Hernandez is saying go Nate. 
Thank you for the check-in, Christina. Appreciate that. Really excited now because I have no other than Mr. Willie Gora. Good morning, here everyone. Good morning. How are we doing today? Willie, I feel abandoned, man. I was here well, trying listen, to call the shots. I don't know. My Uber, my Lyft, and my helicopter didn't get me <laughs> here on time today. <laughs> oh, man. I was I was hurting, Willie. I was hurting. That's because, okay. We're here. We're here. Because, uh, we're here live. Hey, uh, first of all, I would like to uh, wish everyone out there at uh, Caribe Cari family a happy New Year's. Hope you have a great holiday. And Jason, it is great to be back playing some Caribe basketball here. Absolutely, man. It's ex ex an exciting time. Yes, indeed. It's a new year. It's a new year. I won't say a new season because it is a continuation from last well, year. Well, they, they, they look <laughs> brighter and refreshed out Yeah, here. they do. Yeah, after all the food they ate after, over the holidays. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. <laughs> not, not only them, myself. Yep. Yes, indeed. But it, it is good to be back. Absolutely. And I want to thank every parent out there for, again, entrusting uh, Bruce Park Caribe. Uh, organization and with our basketball program uh, bring your child back out here we had a great response on our survey again I thank all those parents that answered the survey on uh, the kids returning and overwhelmingly uh, everyone uh, has got, gotten back uh, came back to play basketball uh, the continuation of the season so uh, again thank you very much so what we have here we have a score of nine to four in favor of uh, Agua Buenas here Agua Buenas as they're up. battling for a rebound Mariah Moran with the rebound. Oh, Zion getting wrapped around. We got a foul committed underneath. Yes, indeed. I'm sure these all these kids, Jason, have been eager to get back. Oh, you uh, know they had the itch, man. Yes, indeed. It gets uh, sweat rolling down the back of their neck <laughs> and uh, getting those legs stretched out. Uh. Oh, William Boy with the shot. No Came good off the back short, of the rim. But it looked good. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Been on the ball, jumping from the baseline, no good. Mariah, let me tell you, Mariah Moran has been a rebounding phenom. Mm. She's been doing a great job for our Buenas. Uh, and it looks like uh, she started off where she left off. Rebound underneath, no good. Put back again, no good. We got a defensive rebound. We wrapped up underneath, we got a jump ball. All right, so it's Agua Buenas against Manati. The score is 9-4. And we are here at the McGivney Center in Fishport, Connecticut, guys. I want to welcome all the parents, too, man. The ones uh, that yes, are sitting definitely. in the parking lot. You know oh, yes, well, we have our lot. parents out there in the parking lot. I won't say your license plate number, but we know we out, you're out there. Okay? So get out of that handicapped parking space. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. <laughs> and Jason, I don't know about your parking this morning, either. <laughs> My parking look a little cricket. Yes, indeed. A little cricket. <laughs> Okay, here we go, back to the game. Manati with the defensive rebound. Oh, Big Aiden with the rebound, and again, battling on the floor is this Moran. We got Buena ball, taking out on the side. We got a 96 score with Manati ahead. Oh, excuse me. Call's been changed. Manati with the ball, taking inbounding. Oh, we got a little defensive pressure by Zion. Jumper, ooh, off the rim, off the backboard, and off the brackets. <laughs> you know, I, I can't imagine now, uh, I don't know if some of these kids were working out uh, during the break that we had, you know, trying to get back in shape. Mr. Ennis down the middle and scores mm. through the traffic. And like I said, for these kids, you know, kids are always going to be kids. They're going to be bouncing around everywhere. But yeah, you still need some type of conditioning. And uh, hopefully they were able to do so uh, throughout uh, the stoppage here. Ooh, behind the back pass there. You definite, definitely need around, stamina. Got, yes, indeed. To run yes, back indeed. and forth on this field. I know if I was to go out there, I'd probably last a minute. Uh, we. I'm just saying. <laughs> Sweet. I don't know if you saw my other hat I had on. I was referee for a hot second. I seen that. And, uh, I was mentioning that on yes. here. And I was telling the people, I was like, Willie's supposed to be here with me, but he's out there refereeing. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I think the referee was on the same move with you. <laughs> I was on. Uh... All right, here we go. 
I go to take the ball out underneath the basket. Omar, no, excuse me, Omar's his brother. Landon, dribbling around, comes up short with the shot. Monathy with the defensive rebound. I want to give a big shout out to all the uh, the people that's watching right now, even on Facebook. I see Janice Tavares is saying, I'm glad the kids have a healthy and fun outlet despite what the world is going through. This is much needed. Definitely. We do appreciate everyone's heartfelt uh, uh, responses there uh, on our chat here. Definitely. Uh, the kids need this type of outlet. I mean, every day, you know, some kids are not going to school. I know they started virtual a couple of weeks ago uh, or hybrid. And uh, with kids not being um, able to, uh, like I said, uh, indulge in many things that they're used to, mm -hmm. you know, this is a good change for them, uh, Jason. It really is. Hey, Willie, so what's your role with the BCYL? Well, uh, I am the director of sports here for Bridgeport Caribe. Uh, I've had the honor of being the director of sports for many years. I think I want to go back uh, maybe a good 15 years here. And let me tell you, Jason, uh, is uh, you say it's a role, but is 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 my passion. Mm. It really is. I, I love mm. what I do here at Bristol ah. Caribe. Awesome. You know, and with our sports program here, whether it be baseball, softball, our clinics, uh, cheerleading, and basketball here, uh, it is great to see these kids uh, being involved. And you know, basketball. Uh, branches off to many different things here with the organization you know mm -hmm. you know here we have kids uh, tutoring we have kids in our community programs uh, and all the all the uh, civic programs that we have here at Bridgeport Caribe so uh, with sports brings a lot of stuff and a lot of things that we're able to help out everyone in our organization Willie really, what what is it like when because you've been around a long time mm -hmm. with BCYL what is it like when you see one of these kids become you know a, a young adult off to college and you see them doing good and they come back to see you and say Willie thank you no no definitely we have we get many accolades from individuals that saw as so uh, as a matter of fact right across uh, the court there Mr. William uh, Figueroa Jr. he's a uh, assistant coach there for Agua Buenas UB mm -hmm. uh, he has come back and given his time to uh, uh, our program our basketball program as he was part of and today he's a mentor to these kids so he's it was great. It's a great feeling knowing that uh, all this is going for now. And mm. not only William, there's many other kids that I can name off the top of my head that uh, do come back and contribute to our program. You know, Jason's always talking about uh, we got to follow underneath as uh, Mr. Love goes hard towards the basket. You know, there's many things that uh, kids do come back and uh, be part of, like I said, here at Bridgeport County. So. Oh, Kevin just throws the ball inbound. Oh, Landon picks up the loose ball. He's on an underneath battle. And oh, Kyler comes in and misses the running layup. And rebound by Mr. Brown. Markel is on the ground. Nathan gets the ball, brings it back up. Eric Gannon, a great defensive player there for Agua Buenas. Uh, forces a pass. Markel. Ooh, free throw mm. jumping. No good offensive Just rebound by Love. Love gets back out. Ooh, Cavanis misses a lefty jump. Uh, Charles, baseline jumper. Why don't we remind yeah. the, uh, the viewing audience also, especially those in the city of Bridgeport, uh, Willie, mm -hmm. um, the softball and baseball season is coming up. Yes, sir. So indeed. coaches are needed and also Coach. applications. Um, you can start putting your application in if you want your kid to play. Yes, definitely. We uh, started our, not only our uh, regular baseball and softball season, we uh, opened up registration. Also, we have indoor baseball and uh, softball clinics uh, that will take place here at the end of the week. And uh, any kids from the ages of five all the way to 17, uh, male, female, uh, we ask that you please do so. Uh, go online and register on bcwild.org and uh, register your child for these great uh, indoor uh, programs that we got going mm -hmm. before the start of the season. Uh, we have a pitchers and uh, catchers clinic uh, that has been working great, that's been uh, great uh, for our programs here throughout the years, developing these uh, young men and young ladies uh, into fine uh, baseball, softball players. So yes, we do, we have registration open. You can visit, like I said, our website, bcwild.org for more information and also call the office at 203-913-0073. Well, 
as Coach uh, Will Robinson barking out orders over there. Uh, <laughs> I guess he's uh, asking for a little bit more effort from his uh, players there. So, uh, you know, they're coming close, Jason. Uh, they're, they're around the basket. They just can't put it uh, in. All right, here we go. Inbound and pass. Markel passes over to Charles. Charles bringing it up along the left baseline. Excuse me. Charles gets tangled up by Mary Gannon again. Mary forces a jump ball, and it will be might not be basketball. Definitely, you know, coaches, volunteers are always needed here in our program, Jason. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, without them, you know, uh, it makes our job very hard. Oh, ball inbounded, but hits the back of the backboard. It will be Agua Buena's basketball. Hey, Willie, how important is it for the kids who want to be involved with the BCYO mm -hmm. and all the different programs, especially the ones that are coming up, uh, to maintain a good grade at school? Oh, uh, definitely. You know, number one, uh, years ago, uh, we started a program by Book Report, and we found the necessity where our kids needed some type of help mm -hmm. uh, through edu for education for some of our kids. So, you know, Long story short, right now we have a tutoring program, three different sessions throughout the year uh, with our Director of Education, Natasha Rivers. As a matter of fact, our tutoring program started today and uh, what they embark in is helping kids uh, with their grades or struggling, or maybe not even struggling with their grades, but mm -hmm. just want to polish up on things. Uh, and uh, we do find the necessity to help our kids out in that field. You know, we could throw a baseball or basketball out there anytime, but we have to throw out some pe pencil and paper also uh, to help our kids uh, academically. So it's very important. I want to give a big shout out to Pratella Love who's on the check in. She's saying, What's up, Jason and Willie? No, that's one of our <laughs> board members, Ms. B. Love. She walked away from the game, yeah, a she champion. Got, she was a basketball coach. She won one championship. She retired. <laughs> <laughs> I heard I heard she could play ball, though. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And she just recently got married. Oh, that's right. Yes, indeed. Congratulations, Pratella. Hey, B. Uh, I want to apologize. I want to say it's Ortiz. I hope I'm not. I hope I'm right. And now, quickly put that chat up there for your last name. Congratulations. We know he bought Iqua. Yes, indeed. Yes, I, indeed. I believe he is. Great job. Congratulations again. All right, Landon. Behind the three-point line, the baseline jumper, Mary. Ooh, Hells it. Way to go, Mary. The baseline. We got a 15 to six score. 38 seconds left in the first half. We got a trip foul. Markel hits the ground but bounces back up. All right, here we go. We got um, Charles taking the ball out. Mary defending. Monathe runs their play. Markel Brown gets blocked by Tyler Robinson. Tyler brings him, passes off to Mary. Mary gives it back to Kyler. Kyler baseline. Back to Zai. Zai rolls around oh. and in. Uh, great passing there. That was a great sequence of passing there, Jason. That was you a know, I could have played basketball because I'm a gunner way back in the day because I knew I was going to get the ball back once I gave it up. You was a so gunner? He, I was a gunner. I was a hacker. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nathan Moreno, jumper, short, rebound. People Jump used around. to hate playing ball with me, man, because I was always Kyler, causing injuries to that. Kyler. Uh, you're right, you're right. You have to be careful. Kyler. Oh, Landon missed the long three-pointer, no good. Offensive rebound, and time expires in the first half. With the score, Agua Buenas 19 and Manati 6. Well, from what I see, uh, Coach Will has to uh, get his team together a little bit. All right, on the offensive side, I mean, 19 points and a half. Yeah, that's pretty good defensive-wise, but Agua Buenas is doing a great job. Excellent. We'll be right back, guys. Are you in your hands? And the Moran Insurance Agency, we are here to protect your future. Come on guys, join me, let me show you around. It's all about protecting what's important to you. The Moran Agencies are here to protect your future. We are here to build a water protection around you and your family. From your auto, in life and retirement, the Moran Insurance Agency has you back. To protect your family from mayhem, 
please visit us at moraninsuranceagencies.com or give us a call at 203-864-6232. All right, you guys, and welcome back to the McGivney Center. Again, I'm your host, Jason Rodriguez, and I'm here with the Bridgeport Caribe Youth Leaders, as you can see their beautiful logo right behind me. And we are here for the BCYL Youth Leaders basketball season that started last year in October, I believe it was. And then in December, they had to put a stop to the games because of the spike of COVID-19. So it is a continuation. We're here today, and then we're here for the next two Saturdays to finish off the season. The last game of the season is gonna be a big, big tournament, um, a big championship game. So it's gonna be it's gonna be exciting for the kids. Willie keeps abandoning me, but I, then I here comes so, Willie back. There you I go, Willie. Sorry. Here, I don't, I'll talk to the referee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so well, like I was saying, uh, Jason, I know I appreciate you very much uh, giving a couple of announcements. Like you said, we have uh, baseball and softball registrations coming up uh, for our summer spring season. And I ask, uh, please go to the uh website and register your child if you're interested in uh, playing some baseball and uh, softball this summer. But even before that, we have our clinics also registration uh, coming up ages 8 through uh, 17, boys and girls. All right, please uh, take a look at our clinics that we got going on. It runs from January all the way through March. Okay, so it's a great, great, great uh, uh, time to take advantage of a great program, okay? And also, uh, Jace, we have, you talk about uh, school and uh, other things that uh, Bridgeport County is involved with. Oh, yeah. Uh, we have our... I see you got a gaming yes, program coming up. Yes, we have a gaming up. program coming up. You know, if you're a high school student interested in, uh, in coding or designing games, uh, you have to look no further. Bridgeport County is offering uh, a gaming uh, program. And also, they compete with other clubs uh, throughout uh, the region uh -huh. here. It, like I said, learn to design the uh, codes and games, so it'll be a great experience. So please uh, visit us uh, online, Space Star Limited. And like always, you have to maintain a C average in school in order to be a uh, participant or, or eligible, which is one of the criteria. okay? So uh, take a look at it on our BCI website. And our first marking period honor roll. You know, Jason, we can't go nowhere. Uh -huh. We can't take our kids nowhere, but well, we're gonna take it to them. All our uh, honor roll kids uh -huh. uh, for the first market period, we ask that you please uh, send in uh, a copy of your report card to uh, our offices. And we are having a virtual expedition to Mars. Nice. Okay, so everyone, uh, first 48 report cards collected will be accepted and please submit it to uh, our office manager, Ms. Ruth Ortega. Uh, you can send it to rortega at bcwild.org. Okay, Jason, uh, I think I'm going to go back to school just to uh, check this out right here. <laughs> or I can get one of those bootleg copies at the flea market. I want to check out what's Mars. Haven? No, what's the boot? What, what's the flea market? Oh, New Haven. New, New Haven. Haven, yes, yeah. indeed. Jason, you know where it's at. Uh, <laughs> you go over there and buy a pair of sneakers that, yeah. you know, you wear them one week and then they start yes, turning indeed. yellow. You know, uh, yeah, sometimes I, well, way back in the day, I used to go there and shop. Oh, yeah. Uh, I used to buy Nikes there, but the bottom will say, the sole will say Adidas. Well, you went there. You didn't get Nikes when you went there. You went and got Ikes. <laughs> Ikes, there you go. <laughs> right. well, listen, last but not least, we got our Bridgeport Caribe uh, Youth scholarship. College Scholarship coming mm -hmm. up, okay? The deadline is March 15th. 
So we ask all our high school, uh, uh, not even students, that to please, uh, application must be accepted uh, for a program. You have to have at least three years involved uh, with Bridgeport County, but uh, in any facets with the community, education, mm -hmm. or uh, in our sports program. Again, you must maintain a 2.5 GPA or better, and good ac academic standing with the schools and, and maintain to maintain your scholarship. That's so awesome. please, this is very important, all right? That's awesome. All right, so uh, all right, with that so being said. Like we're about to get started back here with the game, guys. Yes, so indeed. Let's get this game going. This is the second half. The second half, we got uh, Ababuenas up against Manati. Ababuenas is up ahead right now. 19-6. And there goes Willie. Willie abandoned me again. He's going to stop abusing me this way. <laughs> all right, guys. So here we go. All right, here we go. Manatee with the inbound here. They are going the other way. If Again, I knew my direction watching. was south and north, north and east. Mm. <laughs> Again, if you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, welcome to the game this morning. All right, Joshua inbounds to Mr. Love. Mr. Love being defended by Gannon. Love passes over to Markel Brown. Markel looks around, gives it to uh, Charles. Charles dribbling around, top of the key. Oh, the ball oh. rolls off his, dribbles off his feet, and I walk one of the basketball. Good defensive pressure by Mary. Mary inbounds the ball into Tyler. Tyler at the right elbow, looking around, passes to Mary, top of the key. Mary doing around, down low to William Boy. William turns it over. Marquez with the steal. Markel, excuse me. Jumper! Oh, what a shot! Long range two pointer. Mary bringing the ball back up, passes to the left elbow to Tyler. Tyler penetrates a little, backs it back up, gives it over to the other elbow. Mary, three pointer. Oh, sharp. William Boyer defensive, offensive rebound. Our outlet pass, rebounded by Love. Markel Brown with the long three pointer. Ooh! Off the back of the rim. Mary, defensive rebound, bring her up on the right side. Mary driven around, penetrates down the basket, short jumper, no good. Offensive rebound, put back up and in. Now. Mm. Tyler, Kyler, excuse me. Kyler Robinson. I cannot forget Kyler's, it's not Tyler. <laughs> rebound, penetrate. Oh! Nice shot. A running floater. Whoa. They're hitting big shots now, man. Anthony Murray, excuse me, I said Charles, that's Anthony there. Anthony with the running floater. Mary dribbles to the right elbow, passes down, baseline to William. William gives it back to Mary. Mary down low, underneath pass. Ooh, oh, what a play. Tyler Robinson. Yeesh. You know, I don't got my stats in front of me, Jason, but I think they got like 23 points in the paint. Mm. <laughs> oh, penetration by Markel. Markel, jumper. Jumper off. Oh, we got a whistle. Jaden misses the baseline jumper. All right, I go winners with the basketball again. Mary Good looks down low to oh Mariah Moran. Got a turnover. Ball pass down low. Couldn't handle it. Monathese basketball. Mary looking to put pressure. Markel brings the ball back up on the right side. Oh, he's going to pass him one of their eight and another turnover for Manate. That's been hurting them the whole uh, first half. So I guess they continue. They got to take care of the basketball. Mary inbound again. Kyler surveys his offensive setup. He's top of the key. Got a high pick. Down low pass to William Boyd. William can't mm, handle it. Covers. And we got a turnover yet. We got, oh, we got a jump ball. We got a jump ball. Jaden Bryce. Anthony inbounds it. Markel. Markel brings the ball up. Mary Gannon sneaks up behind, tips it away. Oh, wow. Oh, they were able to save it. And I'm going to point us with another steal. Kyler's down low. Pass. Short. No good. Ball loose. Picked up by Eddie. Eddie brings it down all the way to the basket. Oh! Mm. 
went hard, but with a foul. They're playing really hard now. Mr. Love going to the line. They weren't awake in the first half. They're awake oh, now. Yes, indeed. I think Coach Will put a little firecrackers underneath <laughs> their uh, sneakers and uh, get them up, get them going. <laughs> Here we go. First free throw. Eddie, off the back of the rim and in. 23 to 10, Marathi down 12 points. Got 15 minutes left in this second half. Second free throw off the side of the rim. We got a rebound by Agua Buenas. Kyler brings it back up. Looks like he's going to coast to coast. Oh, got a fake step back jump. He does fix it. Gives the pass down low and is off. Defensive rebound. Another one for Eddie. Eddie passes down to Markel Brown. Brown brings it up to the right side. Oh! Another pass, another turnover. Oh, we got 15 minutes rotation. Every five minutes here at Bridgeport, got even Jason. I show you guys uh, went over it numerous times. Every mm -hmm. five minutes, there's a substitute rotation, mandatory substitute rotation. This enables every kid to get the same amount of time, play time, that is, uh, during the game, uh, except for the last minute. That's coach's discretion, so they can bring in uh, whoever they want at any time. They don't have to wait for the five minutes. You know? Here we go. I got one inbounds. Omar passes over. Big Z, long jump. It is good with the three. He's making it rain. Right. <clears throat> Charles bring the ball back up. Look like he's left handed. Number two passes it up. Number 12. I think that's number Mr. Big A. Aiden Sun passes it up. Not good. Deflected by uh, Agua Buenas out of bound. Inbounded. There you go. Mark it. Another running jumper in the lane. No good, short, front of the rim. Got a rebound, we got a tanglement down low. Manati got the basketball. I go up a surrounding, and we got a time out call mm. by Manati. There's a break in the action again. With the score 26 to 11. So Jason, how is super elite entertainment going? <laughs> Going pretty well, man. No complaints. I'm staying active. Uh -huh. You know, the show that I do, uh -huh. live with Jason Rodriguez, every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock. It's been great. Been going two years strong, brother. Two years strong. Two Congratulations. Years strong. Very good. Thank you. Jason, I was, I'm able to uh, pop in here and there to see some of your shows, if not uh, your archives. And you do a great job. Uh, and you cover almost everything in the city <laughs> of try. Bridgeport. You do. No, Thank you. You, do. you know, not only sports, politics, community. Activists, advocates, mm -hmm. and you do a great job uh, letting uh, individuals um, uh, voice their, their opinion, their minds, and their beliefs. So Thank you're doing you. a great job, Jason. Thank you, brother. We're still there as a community platform, and it's for anyone who's interested. You know, I don't know when you're going to invite me. I don't know what it is. You go by looks. <laughs> you got the look, brother. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the look for radio voice. That's why you got me back here. <laughs> oh, all right, here we go. Monty brings in, bounds it. Again, another turnover. Oh, outlet, pass down, Zion, uh, Ennis. Good big Z, ball loose on the floor. Everybody's on the floor. Rebounded, picked up by Nathan. Nathan gives it back up to Bryce. Bryce dribbled through traffic. Oh, he lost the ball, and another battle. And guess who it is? It's Mariah Moran. Always battle. Oh, nice shot. Yes, indeed. Put it in the bucket. Put it in the bucket. Oh, we got some. Oh, we got another turnover by Mana B. Oh, what's up? Mana B with another turnover. I got winners with the basketball with the score 28 to 11. Inbound it. Here goes Landon with the long three. Oh. Another long range basket by Agua Buena. They are running on all cylinders today. 
Boy, I wasn't even ready for that one. Yes, indeed. No, it's all right. Oh! We got nice a, shot. A running banker by Charles with the left. Right? You have to make a defensive stand here, Manati. There was another steal by Manati. Another defensive stand. Here we go. And the basket is good. Mr. Brown. And he wasn't downtown either. Took it to the basket. All right, here we go. Got to make another defensive stand to get back in the game. Long jumper block. Defense is the name of the game right now for Manati. Oh, oh, we got a block and foul. Manati still with the basketball. Uh, Babuenas, 31-15. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Manatee involves the basketball. They're looking around. Nathan setting a high pick. Mr. Brown goes for it. It's jumper, elbow from the left side. No good. Ball still loose. Nathan picks it off after save by Bryce. And we got another jump ball. Jason Monathe is picking up the defensive uh, effort here. Yeah. So they're trying to get uh, back in this game. So. Really trying to get back in it, man. They have 11 minutes to do it, though. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Oh, we got a set play, inbound play. Ball baseline, Moreno. Moreno back to Brown. Brown, long jumper, no good. Nathan with the offensive rebound. Just back up. Another running jumper in the paint. No good. Still loose ball. Who got it? Monathe with his third offensive rebound. And for now. Hayden picks up the loose ball, looks around, Charles battling. Oh, Manati is picking up that defensive effort. Y'all love it. All right, inbound. Landon bringing the ball up, middle of the court. Looks around, down low pass. Ooh, he tried to thread the needle and is out of bounds. Manati basketball. That was a good pass there. Yeah. Kato was, was open for a slight second. The defense was a little quicker. Another good defensive stop by uh, Manati Brown. No good. Jumper. Loose ball picked up and put back in. We got the substitution coming in. Hey, uh. Oh. All right. Points I put up there, 31-17. That's right, we're making Jason, sure that the score is correct on the board. Yes, indeed. 31-17, 9.45 left in the second quarter. Yes, indeed. So what? We'll, Talk to me, young So man. we got another game coming up. We got another game coming up. We got Team Santusa versus Team Ajunta. Mm. You know, Santusa has, uh, has been, a, been tested all season long. They come up short, but uh, I guess they're going to come up with a good effort today against uh, uh, that's Santusa that is against Ajunta for a 10-30 start. Mary with the fake jumper, another small floating runner in the lane. No good. Ball rolled out of bounds. It will be black so, Willie, basketball. We, yes. we, got, we got two more weeks after this. Yes, the indeed. last game of the season is going to be February championship game? Championship Saturday, we call it. Mm -hmm. We have the Constellation, which will be uh, whoever uh, lost. Well, we have a playoff start next week. We have one makeup game, which will be Manati versus Ajunta. That will be Thursday. Uh, unfortunately, the game will not be live, but uh, we will uh, send out all the homing pigeons for scores mm -hmm. and let the parents know. <laughs> uh, and, but uh, with that being said, uh, Saturday, the playoff start. The first game will be first place versus fourth place, followed by the second and third place games. Same time. All right, ball being rotated all the way across to the other side. Langdon with another long jumper. And Manati with another defensive stop. They got to score, though. They got to score. They got time. They got a little time here. All right, Eddie Love bringing the ball back up. He's looking around for some help. Underneath, down low, good pass. It's a stunt pass down low. Oh! Mm. No good. Rebounded by Wabuena. Long pass underneath. Mary. Nice. Cannon. Hey, Mary. Mary on the break. Kyler found her. And Aguabuena scored. They had gone on a little drought, but 
Another jumper, long jumper, no good. Rebounded by minor three offensive rebound. Ball being passed around. Big A with the jumper. Oh, off the back of the rim. Another defensive rebound by Kyler. Kyler brings the ball up. And he's tripped that half court by Manati. You know, I see these kids hitting the ground as hard as they do. Uh, if it was me, us. you have to call AMR. Uh, just saying. Telling us. <laughs> I would have swelled up just trying to walk into Ooh. the gym. <laughs> All right. Back to back possessions, back to back points for Agua Buena. It looks like they're getting back up to the offensive swing of things. Jumper, Anthony, no good. Another defensive rebound, but lost by, oh, Mary, battling, I mean, excuse me, Mariah, battling and hanging out to the loose basketball. We got seven minutes left, seven minutes left in the second quarter. Yes, indeed. Underneath, down low, big eight, takes the foot, brings it back up, oh, puts it back in. 33-18-19. Agua Buena doing a good job of slowing down the pace, but shooting when necessary. Again, good shots off here. The last two possessions down low. William Boy, baseline jumper, no good. Blocked by Manati. Mm. Manati, oh, turns the ball over. That has been their Achilles heel all day long. And ball taken back up. And ball stripped away from Kyler. And it looks like it hits his body as it went out of bounds. All right, so we taking a timeout and a couple of play players being. We got a timeout out. in the action. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they subbing. They were supposed to be subbing. Hey, Will! Five minutes. Five minutes. All right, so there's no subs right now because. It's about five minutes left. You know, there's rules and regulations, Jason. Yeah, yeah, definitely got to follow the rules. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed. They, they, you was all over that, Willie. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed. You <laughs> was all over it. <laughs> oh, man. Five minutes, then you put it. All yes, right. indeed. Uh, you know, Coach has been doing a great job following the rules, you know. Sometimes you do get in the heat of the moment. Uh -huh. and, in, and in basketball, competitive action, you know, you do tend to forget things because you want things to uh, work out at the time you want it to work out. But uh, black and white, Jason. Yep. <laughs> and also, we do make mistakes over here. The score was wrong on our, on our display, but we just made the correction. Nibia! The score is 33-19. Nibia Hernandez Moreno. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know, Nibia. Nibia. Here we go. All right. So back into the game. All right. Here we go. Down low. Eight. Offensive. Excuse me. Yes. Offensive rebound. My love. Put back up. Couldn't get it. Loose ball. Hands it. Passed off to Mary. Mary down low to Kyler. Kyler takes it hard to the basket. And he's fouled. <laughs> Kyler will go to the line. Two free throws. All right, here we go. You know, Jason, you know, you see the NBA, you see in college, some guy, you know, best three-point shooter in college or in the pros or a good jump shooter. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you put them on the foul line like, for that free throw and uh, the percentage is kind of low. It's too much pressure, man. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I, think, I guess you have to have that pressure on you <laughs> to uh, perform. So, here we go. First free throw, no good. Kyler, oh, rattles in and out. Rebounded by Manati. Anthony tripped. Anthony looking for help. We got another timeout by Manati. 4.56 seconds left. Again, just another reminder to all our listeners and viewers out there. Uh, Bishop Caribe. Um, Baseball and softball season is about to kick off here with our indoor uh, programs uh, for kids ages 8 through 17, uh, co-ed, for our indoor clinics we are coming up, which is uh, pitches and catchers and, and fundamental skills. 
and also our baseball season registration has opened up too for the upcoming season. You know, Jason, just like everything else, we're waiting on word from uh, from the state of Connecticut as far as of the protocols and guidelines we have to follow. Mm -hmm. uh, come that time, you know, they did open up. Uh, you can practice uh, so earlier this week, mm -hmm. so uh, that entails everything else. Well, you know, baseball season. You know, as you know, because of the pandemic, we couldn't start till June. And usually our uh, Cal Ripken League, we start in uh, April. So it worked out. So I guess uh, we will wait and see uh, coming up uh, in the following weeks to see uh, what's the start time and what direction we have to go to make sure, uh, first and foremost, all our kids are safe. All right, here you go, Monathy. Bring the ball up. Oh, taken away, but recovered back by Monathy. Eddie Love taking it to the hole. Loses the ball going up as he stripped. Big A pass it over. Anthony Murray from the elbow. No good. Ooh. Defensive rebound by so Kyler. Close. Kyler gives it off to Landon. Landon turning on the right side. Brings it over. Almost turns it over. Murray recovers. He looks around. Sets up the play. Gives it to Mary. Baseline jumper from the left side. Ooh. No good. Rebound by Big A. A can put it back in him. Loose ball picked up by Eddie. Eddie. Eddie travel with the basketball. Double dribble and travel. It looked <laughs> like uh, he didn't have his Greyhound pass, so uh, <laughs> he stopped him. So, there you go. I got one us back in. Mary with the jumper he's, too long. He's, on the right he's side better than me because I'll, I'll double dribble, uh -huh. I'll travel, and I'll hack you all in one. <laughs> Mary, jumper, no good. Fall short. Another rebound by Kyler. Kyler gives it back out. To Landon, Landon looks up, Zion underneath, takes it up, scoops it up, and nice in. Nice play, nice play. Great man. passing by team uh, uh, one nas Holy cow, silver defensive pressure. Oh. I think almost turned it over, Jason. Ooh, thank God I got the table there. Yes, indeed, Jason. I think we would have been knocked out all the ball. <laughs> yeah, that ball came over here like a bullet. <laughs> wow. Jason, I don't know if you noticed, but I left you. Yeah, you sure did. <laughs> All right, here you go. Monathy, inbound on the ball. Eddie Love passes it over. Big A, number 12. Look down. Down low to Markel. Markel goes down the middle, loses it, turns it over. Kyler Robinson with another steal. He gives it up to Mary. Mary brings it up on the left side. She goes down underneath baseline for Big Z. Z, oh, mm. brings it up and in. Let me tell you, great passing by Agua Buenas. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you. Oh, yeah. That shouldn't be called Agua Buena. It should be smooth water. You could, you could tell they've been practicing, brother. <laughs> yes, indeed. Oh, ball almost turned over by Manati again. Agua Buena is putting up some tight pressure. And we got to break in the action again as Team Manati takes their final timeout. We're coming Just, down to two minutes in the game. Uh, yes, indeed. We got two minutes, 24 seconds left. Number 24. Hey, Jason, how about, uh, I don't know if you follow baseball, the great Hank Aaron passed away yesterday. Oh, huh? yeah, man. Wow, that is. Condolences to the Aaron family. Yes, indeed. Likewise, likewise. Big loss. Tell you, I remember being a little kid. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. I won't say my I'm, age. I'm, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm up there with you to work. <laughs> I remember that home run. I was watching it on TV, uh, and I remember the home run he hit to break uh, Babe Ruth's uh, home run record. Mm. And uh, let me tell you, you know, he has been an ambassador, uh, a Hall of Famer, and an activist throughout uh, his career and Absolutely. after his career. But, you know, my condolences to everyone. What a great person and what a great baseball player. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Mana Thiever taking the ball out. Eddie Love bring the ball back out. Mr. Eddie Murray, Eddie Murray. Bobbles it and another Manati turnover. They're playing a the good, they got a good fight going on here. Manati, they have to convert some. Oh, Mary, oh, baseline jumper. Goodness, Mary. What a nice float in there. Yeah, that was, that was beauty. That was, that was nice. beauty. Let me tell you, these two girls keep it up uh, Mariah and Mary. Uh, we're going to have UConn coaches out here checking them out. We got another <laughs> jump ball here. Kyler and Eddie tangle up for a jump ball. Oh, 
Hill. Mary with another rebound. Gives it to Kyler. Kyler dribbles it out. Comes along the left side. Got a great defender. That's the, and the referee in front of him. It's Big Z. High floating jumper. Mm, and it's good. Guy. What a beauty, man. <laughs> he may have the last letter in the alphabet, but his jumper is number one. That was all net. Oh, another turnover. Will. No pressing. No pressing. Here we go. Markel brings it up. We got a top of the key three pointer. Front of the rim. No good. Rebounded by Agua Buenas as they slow the pace down. You know, you can tell kids slow their pace down a uh, hundred times, but they just want to go, 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 go. <laughs> they want to so, gun it. Uh, here you go. Oh, what a block by Markel on Kyler. Brings it up, Eddie with the loose ball, gives it up to Anthony Murray. Oh, off the side, no good. Take it back up and in. No, not in, it comes out. Eddie Law, pass to Zion. Zion comes up and he is fouled. 51 seconds left. 51 seconds left. Inbounded by Agua Buena, Agua Buena turns it over on the inbound pass. Eddie Love with the steal. Eddie up to Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown to the basket. Oh, Mary Ganim with the stop underneath. You know, smart ball player, you know. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. couldn't jump with him, so she starts down low for the steal. Uh -huh. And sure enough, she stripped him that he went to the basket. Mana P basketball underneath. Mana P sets up in their. Uh, Inbound set, gives it up. Baseline jumper, too long. Underneath, Mary Moran with a rebound. Gives it over to Kyler. Kyler gives it to Mary. Over her head. Turn over. Jeez, I think I'm standing too close to you. Keep bumping into me. No, that's all right. <laughs> that's all right. You stepping on me now. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I just got a note handed to me, something about six feet. <laughs> All right, here we go. Monathy brings the ball in. Mr. Brown passes it over to Anthony. Anthony looks over baseline. Jumper. Too long again. Another defensive rebound by Kyler Robinson. Kyler brings it up the left side. Kyler looking up. Oh, tries, tries to look down low for Zion. Turned over. Monathy with the pickup. Monathy looking around. Oh. There you go. Zion bringing it out. Zion, another long jumper. Mm. No good. Three, two, Jason. That's the game. What a great game. All right. All right. That's the game, brother. By Aba Buenas. Aba Buenas. 41, Manati 19. Yes, indeed, Jason. Well, as the kids are uh, send their uh, departing greetings, uh, I want to thank everyone for tuning in again. Uh, for Team Manati and Team Agua Buenas. And again, Jason, mm -hmm. I want to thank all the parents at home, all the parents in the park a lot out there for tuning in. Absolutely. And again, and trust your Bridgeport Caribbean youth leaders with the safety and the, and the health of their child during these times. And hopefully, um, as the kids uh, send their salutations uh, during these times, that uh, they entrust us that we continue to follow all BCYL uh, COVID response. Okay, Jason. Absolutely, man. So, again, we're not done. We got another oh, game we got coming another up. Game, yes, indeed, Jason. So that's starting at what time again? 10:30. Uh, game, yes, indeed. All right. So right now it's 10:20. Oh, yes, uh, indeed. So yes, we indeed. might start a little after 10:30, uh, yes, but we have Maybe another game so. coming up, we have guys. Another game coming up, which is Santuza versus Adjuntas. That's right. Okay. So a couple of things that I'm gonna. Matter of fact, you know what? We're gonna take a quick break, and then I'll, I'll talk to the talk to you guys when we come back momentarily. Okay. Sounds Don't go good. anywhere. Are you in good hands? And the Moran Insurance Agency, we are here to protect your future. Come on guys, join me. Let me show you around. It's all about protecting what's important to you. The Moran Agencies are here to protect your future. We are here to build a water protection around you and your family. From your auto, in life and retirement, the Moran Insurance Agency has you back. To 
protect your family from mayhem, please visit us at moraninsuranceagencies.com or give us a call at 203-864-6232.
nobody like this You ain't seen nobody like this You hear my sound all over town singing Alright you guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to the McGivney Center. Here we go. We are broadcasting live from the McGivney Center. There's the tip off. Alright, I'm Jason Rodriguez and I have Mr. Willie Cora. Good. Here I'm with me. No, no, no morning mic. still. I've been up so early, I don't know what time of day it is. Man, listen, we've been here since about 6 30 in the morning. Indeed. Yes indeed. Uh, yes. This game right now that's starting off is Santurce against Ajuntas. Yes, indeed. Ajunta is uh, having a great season here. They're currently in first, second place right now. And Santurce is battling for that third or fourth position there. And as Ajunta brings the ball down, Tally turns it over. Might not, uh, excuse me. Santurce takes it up and misses. As Mr. Jeremiah Langston, Mr. Jumper. Here we go. All the way down the lane, a running jumper, no good, but a foul is committed. Want to welcome all the parents that are in the parking lot watching live right now on live stream. If you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, welcome to the game. Yes, indeed. It's Mr. Jones on the free throw line, two shots. Yes, indeed. So again, parents, uh, on behalf of British Pro Caribe Youth Leaders, we want to thank you uh, for rejoining our basketball uh, program here. Uh, we had a great response on our survey we sent out uh, to our parents upon return. And uh, thank you for entrusting Caribe in uh, maintaining your child's safety and health, uh, your number one priority, and making us part of it as we re resume this basketball season. As you know, our uh, recreational sports was opened up here uh, this past uh, January 9th, Tuesday on the 19th. And here we are up and at them. We got everything in place uh, for a smooth transition and a restart. All right, we got a long three pointer by Langston. Uh, that was a great shot there. Okay, Ahuta turns the ball over, inbound it by Langston. Langston brings it up top of the key, looks around. Passes over Matos with a three long three pointer off the top of the backboard. Tally with the rebound. Rebound. Pass it over. Jones looks around, pulls it back out, brings it back over to Tally. Turns around, takes the baseline jumper. No good. He's confronted by defender. Langston with the loose ball, puts it up on the right side, takes it to the hole, and lays it up and in. Uh, Jeremiah. Uh, Bucket here. First field goal of the game. Oh, turnover again by Ahunta. Loose ball picked up by Tally. Lays it up and in again for Team Agua Buena. And they are on the scoreboard. I know we have a malfunction on the scoreboard. Please don't pay attention to it. We're going to rectify it. It's a 5 to 2 game as Ahunta finally gets on the scoreboard. And uh, Santus says, counters with uh, another bucket. Long jumper, no good by Jones. Loose ball. Juicy picks it up. Loose dribbles it around. Looks around for help. 
passes down low, tipped away, picked up by Santusen, Mateo brings it over, tries to pass over to Langston, is deflected out of bounds. Good defensive effort by Dear uh, Jones. Right. Ball back in, Langston looks around, goes to the right side, good defender, oh, Mateo's crossing down the lane, turns the ball over. Jones passes it over, Tally takes it up, fakes, brings it back up, and in. Mm. Uh, Ahunta scores. Carter Diaz brings the ball over to Langston. Langston takes a floating jumper down the lane. No good. Oh, we have a travel as he took the shot. Didn't hit nothing and catches his own shot. And that is a travel. They're playing ball. really hard. Right That's off the rip. Off the rip. Got a good defensive intensity here. <coughs> Santusa brings it down low. Down low. Misses the layup. Langston with another loose ball. And he rockets down the lane. And in another layup. Contested by Langston. 9 4, Santusa ahead. Hold on one second. All right, guys, so Santusa is up. 11-4, game just started off, and everyone is playing extremely hard. Jason, here we go. Some more mm -hmm. action here. Juicy with the ball, baseline jumper, and it's good mm. as he buries it. All right, here we go. We got the five minute substitution coming in. And as you know, every five minutes the game is stopped on a dead ball. So uh, the subs can come in, and this enables every kid to get the same amount of playing time during the course of these two uh, 20 minute halves. Except for the last minute, Jason, five minutes. Last five minutes of each half, coach's discretion is able to put in. Uh, uh, whatever defensive or offensive scheme he deems uh, necessary for a victory. All right. Here we go. We got an inbound coming in. Mr. Anthony Bennett brings the ball in. And we have him dribbling around. Carter Ortiz turns the ball over, gets it back. He fights it off, gives it up to Mr. Bennett. Bennett misses the layup as he loses a shoe. So, he missed a, uh, oh, we got to travel down low. Oh. Wow, well, who does? Oh. oh, we got a break in the action there, Jason. Time out. S -E -D. Just want to remind the people again, Willie. Yes. That um, coaches are needed for the 2021 summer softball and baseball season. Yes, indeed. And also it's registration time. So get your kids out there. Get them registered. Uh, Jason, just like our flyer says, you know, our, our, our coaches, are, our mentors, they're more than mentors, they're more than coaches. You know, they make a difference in all these uh, young men and young women's lives in some shape, way, form, or fashion. You know, uh, so we ask them that uh, anyone out there seeking to want to help uh, be a volunteer, uh, coach in baseball or softball, uh, please call our BC Wild office or you can email me at wcora at bcwild.org. <laughs> Or call our Caribe office at 203-913-0073. Uh, Monday through Friday from 9 in the morning to 4 o'clock in the afternoon. There we go. Santos are bringing the ball back up. We got a steal. Jay-Z with the steal down court. Drums up on the right side. Defensive pressure by Santos. Santos almost gets Whoa. a loose ball. Uh, Tally brings it back up. Tally brings it up to Joan. Joan on the right elbow. He is faced with a defender. A lot of oh, pressure. A lot of pressure, and the pressure turns into a turnover. 
great defensive scheme. I love what the flyer said. The flyer says, a good coach can change a game. A great coach can change a life. Yes, indeed. I mean, those words in itself speaks volumes, uh, Jason. Because uh, I'm telling you, the coaches are an integral part of uh, a child's uh, young life. And, and an adult, too. So uh, they could be inspirations. They could be great role models. You got a jumper by Jones. Baseline jumper from the left side. Jada Vryn bounces the ball in for some boot set. That's another aggressive young lady that we have here. And uh, she uh, has demonstrated throughout the whole season that she belongs playing with these hair basketball. Along with a lot of these uh, players. Oh, layup. Oh, it's a block from behind. But a body foul. It was contact on the body there. By Junta. It was a good block on the ball. At the free throw line, first shot. It's off the back of the rim, no good. Steel shoots again. Jumper, no! Oh, off the side of the rim, rebounded by Ahunta. Ahunta Jones over to Jay Z. Jay Z with the long two pointer. Wow, here we go. Ahunta down four. Santusa ball comes off. Oh, we got a. He got a backcourt violation as he dribbled the ball off his right foot and into the backcourt. Another turnover. I hope that brings the ball in. All right, Jones looking long three pointer. Oh, short. Picked up. Offers the rebound. Put back up. And a foul committed down low by Sun Thutset. All right, fouls on the floor. I hope that taken out. Inbounded to Tally. Tally jumpers too long. Offensive rebound picked up. Jay Zier again. Dribbling. Looks over. Pass it over to Jones on the right elbow. He brings it up to the top of the key. Looks around. Takes the penetration on the left side with the left hand. Oh, too strong. We got a rebound. We got a battle for the rebound on the ground. For jump ball, jump ball. Get it, get it. Mm. All right. A junta possession arrow. They retain the basketball. Down low, Tally sneaks in. Tally looks around. Baseline jumper short. Ahunta with the rebound, but travel violation. Steal. All right, here we go. We got a 10 minute sub here. With the score of 14 to 10, Jason, as Santus is uh, hanging out to a four point lead. Uh, playing some good basketball here. We got a close game. You know, Jason, I played high school basketball for Bassett High School. And huh? I, yes, indeed. I played uh, when we were up 20 or we were down 20. <laughs> <laughs> you play uh, with any of the uh, popular players that came out of there? Uh, for Bassett, no. During my, my time there at Bassett, no. No? Uh, we, uh, you talk about the... Like uh, Charles Smith, Chris Char Smith. Oh, no, that was Charles Smith. Uh, they were uh, out of Hardy. Chris Smith was out of Kobe. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I want to say uh, John Garris is the biggest thing that... Uh, Came out of uh, Bassett High School as far as basketball is concerned. Gotcha. He played uh, for the ball, uh, Cleveland, drafted by Cleveland Cavaliers back in the day. Yes, indeed. But, you know. All right, here we go. Sessa, another jump baseline. Ooh. Mm. Short. Jada Rodriguez with the rebound. Pass it over. Santos will bring it up down the middle lane. Ball gets loose on the court. Dive picked up by a junta. KZ brings the ball up on the left side. Excuse me, on the right side of the court. He is there pressured, and we have a timeout by Ajunta. As Jay Z was in a little trouble, and Coach Kevin decided to help him out. You know, Jesse talking about uh, uh, coaches needed. Also, we have uh, mm -hmm. our baseball softball registration for our spring and summer season coming up here. Uh, it starts off, uh, registration starts off uh, as now. You go on BCL. Uh, dot org mm -hmm. online register your child we have t-ball we got rookies minors majors seniors for baseball ages 5 through 15 and our girls softball uh also ages 9 through uh, 17 uh for our summer uh <coughs> excuse me our summer divisions for softball and for our baseball divisions like i said uh we have spring senior and summer senior so we ask everyone 
So please go online if you're interested. And we have our clinics that we started. It's going to start here uh, soon. Uh, again, ages uh, seven, our rookie division, all the way through our senior division, seven through 15. And also our softball clinics, uh, ages nine through 17. So please visit us online and register your child. Okay, I hope that brings the ball back in. Sessa with another baseline jumper. Ooh. Ooh. Money. He had a defender in his face and a long baseline jumper from the right side and a foul. Sessa going to the line to shoot to make a traditional three point play. See, that's the second uh, baseline jumper from that spot there. That's a sweet spot there, Jace. Mm. Indeed. All right. We just have to move some things around here on the foul line setup. Chase. Ooh, Sessa misses the free throw. Rebounded by Jada. Jada gets it off to it. Bennett. Bennett, long jumper, no good. Defensive rebound. Hand it over to the guard. Guard gives it up. Jay's there to Tally, but it's deflected, but still retained by Ahunta. Tally looking around, gives it up to the top. Foul line jumper, set side. Oh! oh. Uh, 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 uh. Two steam. Another jumper. He on fire. Yes, indeed. Langston looks around. Another bounce pass to Bennett. Bennett takes it to the lane, falls short. Jada with an offensive rebound over to Langston. Baseline jumper is good. Langston from the left side. All right, looking around. Give it again. Sets like fakes the jumper. No good. Over to Jay Zier. Jay Zier to Tally on the right elbow. Down low. Tally looks around. Pass it down low. Brings it back to Tally. A turnover. Langston with the steal. All the way to the rim. And good with the left hand. Jeremiah. You know, he's very athletic. You can tell oh, about yeah. Jeremiah. Oh, yeah. As a matter of fact, his father at one time was our strength and conditioning coach. So you could tell where he gets that from. Jay Zier with the runner in the lane. No good. Offensive rebound by Tally. Tally puts him up. And in now. Sanduso with the runner in the lane. No good from the right elbow. Loose ball still on the floor, picked up by Sessa. Sessa taking it down. Sessa looking. He oh, takes it to the hole. He challenges Langston. Jay Zero offensive rebound. Down low. Oh, oh, oh. Good. Oh. Oh, excuse me. Ahunta with the basket. That was number four. It's been a tight game. Long jumper. No good. Langston. Jada with another offensive rebound. She looks over for Bennett. Bennett sets up for the baseline jumper. Oh, no good. Offensive rebound. Put back up. No good. With the reverse layup. Oh. We got it. <laughs> As coach Eric Gooden excitedly helps out the referee. Shot, no good. Ahuntas with the basketball as we Carter trying a long jumper. No good. Ahmad with the defense on top. Ball swung over to Sessai looking for the sweet spot. Short. Offensive rebound. Put back up. No good. Loose ball on the ground. Langston over it. And we got a triple foul on Jay-Z. Ladies and gentlemen, you are not colorblind if you see Mr. Bennett with a black uniform. It looks like uh, he's wearing his away jersey uh, uniform rather than his home. <laughs> uh, you know, it has some Thusa on it. Yes, indeed. You know, when you get a long break, Jason, you tend to forget stuff. <laughs> Inbound, Ricardo coming in. Oh, we got five minutes substitution coming in now. Here we go. Ahunta with the basketball. Ricardo inbounding. On the 
LaShawn, got Mattel, got Langston, and also on the basketball court, you have Justin. Here we go. The last five minutes, oh, excuse me, last four minutes of the first half, Jason. Good game. Mm -hmm. Got a tight game here. Ball tried to go down underneath the steal. Steel was no good. Couldn't handle it. Ball giving up to Jones. Jones pulls it back out. Give it to Sessai. He's looking for a sweet spot again. Oh, oh, oh! It rattles in and out. Defensive rebound by Steele. Oh, he's taking it to the hole. Ain't no stopping him. No good. The layup is short. Callie with the rebound. Brings it down the middle of the court. Takes it to the basket. Oh, also short. Another rebound by Steele. But we got a travel <laughs> violation. Yes, indeed. Great game. Great game. High intensity. <laughs> yes, indeed. You know, the Santusa team always puts up a great effort. Every single game they're in. All right, here we go. We got a substitution coming in. Jones, top of the key. Penetrates, foul line jumper. Ooh, off to the right side. Boosted basketball, two minutes, 45 seconds left in the first half. Langston brings the ball up, middle of the court, passes it over to Mattel. Mattel looks down, looks around, gives it back to Langston. Langston looks at Ricardo, he's double teamed. Pass it down, Ricardo with an NBA three. Oh, it's mm. short, rebounded by Steele. Picked up by Steele, no good. There's a battle, Tally comes up with a defensive rebound, looks around, gives it to the right side to Jazir. Jazir with a three pointer, off the side of rim. Ricardo with the defensive rebound. Brings it to the right side, all the way up and under. No good. Jay Zier with a rebound T to Tally. Tally up front to Jones. Jones challenges down the lane at Langston, and the bucket good is good. Uh, here you go. Ricardo bring the ball back up. Look to the right side, Langston. Double team. Langston. Elbow. Three pointer. Too long. Skids. Scapes off the left side of the rim. Ball out of bound. Ahunta basketball. 153, Jason. In the fourth? Jason, you know there's quarter. a new billionaire out there? You listen, <laughs> I have about 100 <laughs> tickets in my pocket I haven't checked yet. Yes, indeed. Oh. Somebody won last night, the question. Yes, indeed. From, yeah? Uh, I want to say, I don't want to, don't quote me, I want to think somewhere out there. The jumper is good. Ahunta takes the lead. Looks around. Steel. Elbow. Looks around. Pass back up to Mateo. Mateo attempts a three. Pulls it back, lands the top, takes it to the middle, stripped by Jones. Hit loose ball picked up, and turnover by Santuse. Great defense by Ajunta there. Great defense. Here we go. Jones looks around, minute 16 left in the first half. Looks around. Everyone's uh, at a standstill. I gotta say, I love the sneakers. Oh, ball, pass over. Pass on one, they're eight. Another turnover by Ahunta. Yes, indeed, they have great sneakers, these kids. Yeah, man. Uh, Jason, I told you earlier, if I was uh, 40 years younger, I'd be wearing those psychedelic sneakers, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, defense, turnover on the inbound by Santuse. Tally, long jumper, no good. Another defensive rebound by Steele. Steele looks up, tapped up from behind. Stolen, take it away. Jay Zier picks it up, looks underneath. Tally is deflected by Jeremiah Langston. And last touch by Junta. Here we go. Ricardo brings the ball up. Middle of the court, looks around. Everybody gets an offensive set. Pass over to Langston. Langston penetrates, takes it to the hole. No good. Offensive rebound. He looks, steal, takes it up. No good. The battle for a defensive rebound by Ahunta. Taken. Passed over to Jones. Jones looks up. Takes it. Oh, a scoop pass. Mm. To tally, tally. Too much under the rim. No good. Ricardo all the way. And falls loose. We got a defensive rebound, but yet another tribal violation. These kids got serious stamina. Yeah, they do. <laughs> I mean, it's nonstop. And Jason, I think you said it early, they bounce on that floor, they get, I mean, they fall on that floor, they bounce back up. Yeah. They're ready to go. Nine That's seconds fall. left in the half. Seven. Five. Long three-pointer. Ooh, rattles. No good. And that is it for the first half of the basketball game with Ahuntas. 
with a lead. 22 and Santuse 18, Jason. 18. All right, we're going to take a quick break, right? Okay. Are you in your hands? And the Moran Insurance Agency, we are here to protect your future. Come on, guys, join me. Let me show you around. It's all about protecting what's important to you. The Moran Agencies are here to protect your future. We are here to build a water protection around you and your family. From your auto and life and retirement, the Moran Insurance Agency has you back. To protect your family from mayhem, please visit us at moraninsuranceagencies.com or give us a call at 203-864-6232. Tax Moran Agency. My name is Marlon Moran. I'm the territory manager from Moran Agency, Liberty Tax, New Haven, Connecticut, and Brisbane, Connecticut. So I really want to show you something that we're doing for our community to protect them with the COVID-19 regulation with the CDC. Starting with our remote tax prep, we call you, we take all your information over the phone, and then from there, we even make you sign on your phone. On top of that, dropping off your tax return. You drop off your tax return. If you want to pick up the next day or hour later, 45 minutes, we got you back. On top of that, file in office. We let you come in with a different regulation with CDC and we here to please our community the best we can. And something that I'm really excited that I think it's not fair that IRS will make you wait all the way to March to get your return is this, the advance money. From $500 all the way to $6,250, pretty fast. From four, 24 to 48 hours, you're going to be able to see some money in your bank account. In this 2021, we really want to help our community the best we can. We need to look for all kinds of solutions, how we can get together in this hard time. On top of that, on top of that, remember, remember, we're not try just... 100%. We try at 300% to get you the best return in time. And another thing, you do lie, we do taxes. Over here at Moran Agency, you know what we do? We try our best to please the client and look for every, every little corner so you don't miss a penny and you get the right reform or you pay the right amount to IRS. So see you soon, guys. This is your office. I'll be here. We in Brisbane, Connecticut, New Haven, Connecticut. And on top of that, you can go to moranganc.com or you can inbox me, send me email or anything like that. I'm here to please my community. See you soon. All right, guys, we are back from the break. The players were given a good amount of time to rest up, to hydrate. We're about to jump right back into this. This is going to be the second quarter of the game between San Dulce and Ajuntas, with Ajuntas in the lead, 22 to 18. And we're broadcasting from the McGivney Center here in the city of Bridgeport, Connecticut. Second game of the morning. It's been... High intensity. 
And these guys, girls, can't play. Here we go. All right, Jason, we're back to live action. As Ben is long, jumper is too short and out of bounds. We got a halftime score where our juntas are ahead 22 to 18. Up by four here. Early stages of the second half. Jones brings it down low, down low, cut down the lane. Layup is up and it's good. Uh, Junta playing the inside game here. Early in the first, second half. Got a jumper by LaShawn. No good. Got ball out of bounds. Uh, Junta basketball. Long three pointer. Jones short. Rebound by Langston. Langston speedy down the lane. Fakes. Jumper up. Oh, off the back side of the rim. No good. Offensive rebound picked up by Langston himself. Another jumper rolls in. Now. Santos on the board. Early in the first half. Second half, excuse me. JZ jumper is good. Long two pointer. Down low, middle, still couldn't handle it. One in layup, no good by LaShawn. We got a foul underneath. Arunta uh, committing the foul. Vincent. Vincent Khalil underneath. The free throw, still, it is good. The basket. Camp, gotta leave him in. Foul, no foul, camp. Four fouls. Free throw is good, steal. Jones penetrates down low. Oh, ball tripped away by Steele. Got a strip. Ahunta looking around. Sessa inbounds it. You got Jones top of the key. Elbow looks around, spins, takes it to the hole, rolls it in. Nah. Long jumper, Bennett, short, rebounded. Ball passed off, Jada almost with the steal. Jones brings it on the left side, pulls it back out. Along the baseline, brings it to the top, elbow, set side, penetrates, jumper, again. This kid's on fire today. <laughs> Jason, side, set side, two steal. Nice and top of the elbow, passed off to LaShawn. LaShawn looks back, this is the Bennett. Bennett, another three point. No! Oh. You know, you're shooting up, you're going to make one. Bennett oh, finally yeah. with his three pointer. First of the game. Jay Zier fakes it. Step back. Jumper. Oh, too long. Defensive rebound by Bennett. Bennett looking around. Brings it up on the left side. Pass it over to Langston. Top of the key. Stan Langston surveying down low to Bennett. Bennett off his hands. Out of bound, turnover Santucci. All right, here we go. Jones bring the ball up, middle of the basketball court. Looks around, passes over to the right to Jay Z. Jay Z bring it back to the top of the key, swings down down low. Baseline to Cesar. Cesar, is he on fire still? Oh, rattles in and out. Rebounded. Loose ball picked up by Jay Z. Brings it up on the right side. He penetrates. In traffic over to Jones. Jones fakes the jumper. Pull back three. Boom! Mm. Too hard off the glass. Still with another defensive rebound. Looks around, loses the ball. We got a carry violation. Ah! 
We got the mandatory five minutes. You know, our referee today is also a fire marshal. He does a great job. <laughs> and make sure, does a great job making sure that we are following all our protocols. He gives us kudos every day, Jason. What a great job Caribe is doing. Jumper, set side, rolls up, bounces off the rim twice. Rebound the offensive. Tally cuts down the middle, looks open, no good, short, steal, no. Loose ball picked up by Lance, then Lance into the hole, contested by Jones, too strong. Mm. Rebounded by Steele again, put up with Steele finally after the third try. We got a bucket by Santucci. 28-27, our hoop die ahead. <clears throat> down low, penetrates, turns around, jumper, what a beautiful move. That was a Joel Embiid move right there. Use the big broad shoulders, turns around, puts the basket. Oh, we got an NBA three. Oh, too strong. He went deep with that one. Yes, indeed. Ball given back up by Jones. Jones looks at Tally down low, waiting. Tally brings it out, no good. Loose ball, picked up. Ricardo down the right side, contested by Jones. Up, 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 and in. Oh. It's on Pootse with the basket. We've been some great drives to the basket here today, Jason. Oh, underneath. Tally brings it back out to Jones. Jones pulls it back out. On the right elbow. Oh, Tally. Long two. Too strong off the back of the rim. Rebounded. We got a battle underneath. Jump ball, jump ball. So through set possession. We get the ball in. Ricardo inbounds it to Jeremiah. Jeremiah, again, middle of the court. Oh, we got NBA three again. Look out. Too strong, off the back, long rebound by Jones. Jones brings it up, left side. Jones, three-pointer, too short. Tally picks up the loose ball, over to Sessa. Sessa, just throw it, and hey. Hey. to speed. <laughs> you know, it's a good thing we do got a fire marshal here. This kid is hot, he's yeah, on he fight, is. yeah. <laughs> long three, punch oh. five, and Ricardo Connor with another three. <laughs> what a game. Oh, we got a loose ball. Steal by Jeremiah. Jeremiah to the basket. Hard. Two defenders in his way. Mm. Rolls out. Long rebound. Oh, we got to play and we got to travel. We got to whistle, excuse me. And we got to tie a score. And we got to tie a score. And we got a timeout, Jason. <laughs> we got everything. Out. Oh. Jason, uh, well, we got time here, real quick. Mm -hmm. Let me also tell you what Bridgeport Caribe got in store here. We got a coding and gaming program that we start here at Bridgeport Caribe. Uh, this is a great program. You know, if you're in high school, student interested in coding and designing games, video games, um, look no further. Caribe here probably announces our new uh, coding and gaming program. BC Wild Esports is part of the Bridgeport affiliated of the Greater Bridgeport STEM ecosystem. You know, uh, a couple criteria here. You know, you have to keep a CU average uh, in order to participate. Okay, space is limited, and it'll teach you many things. You know, how to design and code. Uh, uh, with Game Maker, I guess, uh, not guess, but it's a program mm -hmm. that, uh, that they help these kids uh, in, okay? Uh, you can register online or call our BC Wild office from 9 in the morning, 4 in the afternoon, okay? Uh, www.bcwild.org, okay? Thank you very much. I'm very excited to see uh, about this uh, gaming uh, coding. Yeah, I think that's program. new. That's the yeah, first time you guys is, ever yeah, do something like that, right? It. We've been, uh, uh, we've been uh, in the process for a few years and uh, decided uh, trying to get the program jump started and finally it is in play and uh I'm definitely looking forward to it a lot of interest a lot of interest all right ball out of bounds santusa basketball we got a tight game 12 minutes left here in the second half uh, carter brings the ball up top of the key looks around oh deflected pass almost stolen taken away langston gets the ball dribbles to the right side down in the paint steel looks over almost trying to pass off to jada turned over Stolen. Jones tried to force it in the side for our that steal with the steal. Oh, couldn't get it. Defensive rebound. Agua Buena looking around, looking for help. Jones, we got a timeout. Yes, indeed. And Jason, also, we have our parents. Please uh, send in your first market peer report card with all our uh, kids that have an honor roll. And like I said earlier, Jason, mm -hmm. if we can't, the kids, can't take the kids
to the event. We're going to bring the event to them. There you go. We have a Destination Mars, a virtual expedition of the planet Mars. So any kids, the first 48 kids, report cards we received, will be able to uh, encounter, uh, I'm sure it's great scenery from uh, the Land Rover they have up there in Mars and uh, different things. So uh, first 48 kids, uh, please submit it to our BCY office, to our office manager, uh, Ms. Ruth Ortega. Uh, at rortega at bcwild.org, okay? But well, please don't forget. <laughs> Lastly but not least, uh, Jason, our uh, Bridgeport Caribe Youth Leaders uh, College Scholarship, scholarship. deadlines for March 15th. Uh, you have to have been involved with Bridgeport Caribe for over three years. Uh, a student must have a 2.5 GPA or better and be in good academic standards. I ask that all parents, please take advantage of uh, as Jones goes into uh, the lane and foul, take advantage of this great opportunity because as you, they say, you know, every penny counts, Jason. That's right. Uh, to help uh, these kids further their education, all right? You can uh, apply online, look online. Please uh, take a look at it at bcwall.org. And it tells you a little bit more on the requirements needed to uh, be uh, eligible for the BC Wall College Scholarship. Free throw is good by Jones. We got a 33-32 score, a junta ahead by one. Free throw. We got a free throw violation, then hit the rim, then hit the backboard. Play is stopped. Santusa basketball. Carter, bring the ball up. Confronted by two uh, a junta defenders. He's looking around for some help. Lanston gets the ball. Defensive pressure put on. Layup. Passed off to Jada. Jada's shot is blocked. Mm, block. Lanston finds a loose ball. Looks around, looks around. This is Jada. Jada looks around. Oh, she passes, turns it over to the wrong team. And here goes Jones for the lamp. I hooked up by three. Langston dribbling around, gives it over to Ricardo. Ricardo looks, goes down the right side, hits the baseline. He is tripped. And the ball bounces off his leg. Mandatory substitution coming in. 9.4 left in the game. Yes, indeed. Jason, I'm telling you, I think this is one of the best games we have thus far this season. Yeah, this is a great game. Stays here, brings the ball up to Sessa. Sessa has a hot hand. Sessa takes it to the basket. Oh! Comes up short. Offensive rebound. Ball turned over. And we have a backcourt violation. Ahunta turns the ball over. Santusa basketball. You know, for a long layup, I think these kids are doing great. They really are. Pretty oh, yeah. high scoring basketball game. It looks like they haven't lost a beat, and they are not sh shy to shoot. Offensive rebound by Entango is still fighting. Jump ball. <laughs> Santu said basketball. Basketball looks around. Ricardo cuts down the lane and scores. That's another one point game. Ball given down to Tally. Tally looks. Took a couple of steps, Jason, before he put the ball on the ground. On the floor, excuse me. Turnover, Ahunta. 35 34, Ahunta ahead. Santuse, Ricardo, basketball. Trying to set up a pick. Jay Z putting that defensive pressure on him. Looks around. Rashawn, jumper. Ooh, top foul line. No good. Defensive rebound, Ahunta. Giving it to Jay Z. Jay Z, bring it up. On left side, takes it all to the basket, deflected, and out of bounds. Great basketball. Mm -hmm. I want to thank our on-site coordinators today helping out. Ms. Lydia Lugo and Mr. Dominic Lewis. Let me tell you, our on-site oh, oh. three-pointer by Mark Bennett. And Santusa takes a two-point lead here. 7.20 left. Second half. Blocked to the basket. 
and ball still. So I hope that's basketball. Yes, my side corners, Jason, they helped me out tremendously, helped the organization out tremendously. And the commitment and uh, enabling that everything uh, runs off smoothly. And we got a jumper and we got a three. Was he behind the arc? Yes, he was. Three foul shots coming in. Zaire Montague at the free throw line for three shots. He was behind the arc, did Big Jace? Mm. Three shots is beautiful. Three you. shots is good. This is the first one, too strong. The only arcs I'm good behind is McDonald's. <laughs> Second free throw. No good. Oh, I thought he get. Oh, my mistake, uh, ladies and gentlemen. He was in front of the three-pointer, and guess what? He is behind the out-of-bound line. So turnover on Hoopa. 37-35, South Tusa with the lead. We got six minutes left in the game. Ricardo passes over to Ma. Ma Bennett penetrates, loses the basketball. Sessa picks it up, gives it over to Tally. Tally on the right side, surveys, looks around for some help. Finds it, Jay Zier on the left elbow. Jay Zier's shot is blocked by Ahmad. Loose ball on the ground. Ahunta picks it up. Baseline jumper, tally, too strong. Rebounded. Ahunta, Sesai with the basket again. Sesai with the drive, too strong. Offensive rebound, put back up, not in. Finally, Santusa with a rebound. Ricardo looks up and throws it out of bounds as it was too high for Bennett to get. Ahunta basketball. Well, it's a showtime here, Jason. Last five minutes of the game, we had a minutes, great game going on. 37-35. Yes, indeed. It's hard to say who's going to take it. <laughs> well, uh, That's a hard one. Yes, indeed. You know, uh, Santusa had their lead. Ahunta had a lead. Santusa come back, take a two-point lead here. So it's a seesaw battle here. All right, here we go. Ahunta with the basketball. Long pass. Steal. Oh, excuse me, not steal. Langston with the steal. Layup, no good. Langston looks around, gets the defensive rebound. Looks over to Ricardo. Ricardo, three pointer behind the line. It is too long. Picked up by Langston. Langston shoots. No good. Baseline jumper. No good. We got a timeout in the action. Crucial minutes, and this is where a coach needs to let his players know exactly what they want to do. Mm. Work that play out. Jump ball, jump ball, get it, get it. <laughs> Jason, like I told you earlier, uh, super elite entertainment. How are you guys doing over there? Huh? Doing pretty good, man. Can't complain. You're very good. Two very years good. strong. Two years strong. We ain't we're not slowing down, nor are we stopping. Like I said, uh, uh, in our earlier broadcast, uh, Jason, uh, you guys cover everything here in the greater Bridgeport area. And, you know, from politics, community, people advocating for their cause mm -hmm. and their purpose. Uh, you know, Bridgeport Caribe, we've been, our executive director has been on there, mm -hmm. uh, talking about our program we have here. So it's a good voice. You, you are a great voice for the community, Jason. We appreciate you uh, wholeheartedly, Jason. Great job. Thank you. I appreciate that, brother. All right. Here we go. 423 left. Pass deflected out of bounds by the defender, Mr. Langston. I want the basketball still. <clears throat> Ball's coming in, inbounded into Jay Z. Jay Z looks around, gives it over to Tally. Tally looks around. Tally almost loses the basketball, recovers it. Jones, left elbow. Oh, fights it up, and it's foul. Santusa with the foul. We got two free throws coming up by Jones. <coughs> Excuse me. Somebody better get a cold. God test bless you, brother. <laughs> Ooh, all oh, that. Playing around with that. Serious. You know, I'm looking at uh, this young man sneaker. I told you earlier. I love those sneakers. <laughs> oh, yeah. And the free throw. Second one's no good. Rebounded by Steele. Ooh! 
He dribbles it off his foot out of bounds. Turnover, Santurce. Ajunta basketball. Tally brings it in. Jones trying to get free. Ball's passed over to Jay-Z. Jay-Z looks around, comes over to the left side. He's on the left elbow's baseline pass to Tally. Tally back to the top of the key. Underneath. Jay-Z cuts underneath. Oh, the pass is low and out of bounds. Turnover on Junta as they trail by two. We got full court pressure by uh, Santuce. Oh, the ball pressure and turned over. Another turnover by Santuce. Tally, inbounding, looking around, pass underneath, almost stolen by Santuce. Ooh, the battle inside and muscle mm. up and in. Oh, junta, that was a good, good play there. It's a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure. Got a lot of pressure there by um, Santuce, did a good job on there. But I love that muscle underneath by Vincent. That's the second straw move underneath. So, Jason, uh, how was Christmas? Did you get that PlayStation 5 for yourself? <laughs> <laughs> all, I got is, uh, all I got was a pair of Beats headphones. Is that I, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah Jason. <laughs> hey, that's better than nothing. It's <laughs> better than nothing. It's <laughs> better than nothing. Well, I got oh, actually, a pair of Beats headphones and a sweater. <laughs> did you a sweater? Well, I did, I did. I was able to get a couple of gifts there. That's some Mets shirts, Giants shirts. You know, I got some headsets too. But, uh, they didn't fit my ears for my phone. Yeah, the pair I have, I was given is it's uh, Beat Studio 3. Is that right? They're good, man. All right, good for you. Yeah, Beats always have some great sounds in their, uh, in their uh, headphones. Always. You know, I got the traditional stuff. T-shirts, socks. Uh-huh. <laughs> Underwear. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Here we go. Down low. Long pass turned over. That is design play, but it is turned over. Santusa recovers. Langston, down low. Ricardo, off the backboard. No good. Offensive rebound and battle tangled up. Vincent and Ricardo. Blue basketball. Junta gets the basketball in possession. Jones, dribbles, gets confronted by two defenders, pulls back up, looks around, tally top of the key, looks around, Jay Z on the left side, down low, almost deflected. You got Sessa, jumper, it is good. Listen, listen, it is good. And you heard her name all morning long, Sessa Dusty. Aston brings it, down by three, looks around, steal. Top of the key, almost stolen. Bennett, three-pointer. Oh, rattles up, and no good. The three-pointer. Steal with the offensive rebound. Tries to give it over to Ricardo, turns it over. Tally with the steal. Oh, Ricardo steals it. Ricardo takes it to the hole. No good. Steal with the rebound. The put back and in. One-point game. That's a one-point game. The ball on the turn around. Jay Zier, jumper. Oh, 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 there is ice water in his <laughs> veins. Uh, he did not hesitate on that. Wow. Pass. Long pass. Bennett takes it, holds up, and gives it over to Ricardo. Ricardo with the acrobatic shot. Who got the rebound? Who got the rebound? Jay With the rebound. We had a two point game going on here. Ladies and gentlemen. Stop that clock. Whistle. Clock. Ahunta with the basketball, 42 seconds left. We have a two-point game, Jason. Oh, man. Jeremiah, defense, Jones all the way to the basket. No good, Ricardo with the rebound. He's taking it up. 32 seconds left in the game. He's dribbling, looking for help, looking for help. Gives it over to Jeremiah. Jeremiah, the three. Oh, no, too strong. <laughs> Jay Zier with the rebound. Brings it back in. They're telling Jay Zier, look underneath, down to Tally. Tally looks over to Caesar. Caesar, another jumper. No good, uh. off the backboard. Offensive rebound, Vince over to Jones. Jones, jumper, no good. Offensive rebound, ball still loose. Jones looking around. 
and I hoop dunk calls a time out. Wow. 4.9 seconds left. Now Somebody, that was action Yes, packed. indeed. Somebody give me a glass of water. Jeez. <laughs> what a good sequence there. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Big shots, too. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Jay Zier came up, pulled up that three. Man. No hesitation to, you know, almost ice the game here. A lot could happen in 4.9 seconds. Oh, yeah. 41 yes, 43. 41 43. They've been working. Yeah, they have been. A lot of points up there. Mm hmm. Great game. 41 43. Jason, again, uh, as we're almost to the conclusion here, uh, thank you again for a great job that you always do here uh, every Saturday during our basketball program. And also, Jason, it looks like you haven't missed a beat either. You came over here, you were set up ready to rock and roll. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> it, it goes a lot saying, uh, you know, being prepared and being ready. That's right. Yes, indeed. Here we go. We got defensive pressure all over the place. Mm. Four seconds left. Santusa needs a turnover. I can't even imagine how crazy this is about to get. Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> Let me clear my throat. Tally with the inbound. Inbound to Jay Z. We got a foul. We got a foul. It's, it's only two. They're trying to. Uh, oh, one more foul, I think, during the one on one situation. So. We will see how this goes. As they, as, as they uh, battle for the one-on-one -on -one situation, Jason 2.8, I don't know. They got the foul instantly. Yes, indeed. Three in a row. We got a one-on-one. -on -one. We got two seconds left in the game. Two seconds. One-on-one. -on -one. They have to basically... Uh, Full court shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In order to end to win the game. Well, uh, coaches are going over the strategy with the referee. Uh -huh. What's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> no, they're just clarifying some uh, foul situations just in case. So, what a great game. Well, next week uh, we start the playoffs here, Jason. We have the first place team, which is our team Agua Buenas, versus uh, the fourth place team, which will be San Jose. Oh, he did miss it. And nobody, nobody for San Jose was there for the defensive rebound. Oh. And the shooter gets his own rebound. Well, listen. So that's, that's, that's pretty much it. 41, 43. Ajuntas. Ajuntas, yes indeed. Takes the victory. Yes indeed. Another great Saturday here. Uh, again, next week, championship, um, I mean, playoff start. Uh, we got one more game left on Thursday uh, coming up. And uh, Saturday will be the fourth place team, uh, Santusa versus uh, the first place team, which is uh, Agua Buenas. That is a 10.30 start. And the 9 o'clock game will be third place versus second place, which is Team uh, Junta second place, and uh, Team uh, Marathi in third place. So we're looking forward for the playoffs to start next week. Absolutely. And uh, from there, we have Championship Saturday, February uh, 6th, Jason. So uh, another great Saturday, another basketball mm -hmm. out the way. Parents, I want to thank everyone out there for uh, tuning in. Another great broadcast here from Super League Entertainment and this, our uh, host here, Jason Rodriguez. Uh, everyone, please continue to be safe. Any questions on today's announcements, please do not hesitate to call our BC Wild office and visit us on one of these uh, social media. Okay? Uh, I thank everyone. Stay safe and stay healthy. Jason, great job again. All like right, always. man. Well, it's been a blast, brother. God bless. All right. See all of you guys next Saturday. Definitely. All right.